All right, friends, good morning to all of you. My name is Forecaster Nick Dunn here. I'm live with the Severe Weather Update. It is just about 3 o'clock in the morning here. We officially have our first severe thunderstorm warning of the day. It is currently again just about before 3 o'clock a.m. The National Weather Service in Wilmington has just issued a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for a couple of counties in east central Indiana until 3.45 a.m. this morning. There is a dangerous looking thunderstorm. We just talked about this literally within the last 10 or 15 minutes here on our last video that we just wrapped up a short time ago and we were watching this very closely now the National Weather Service is concerned for the potential for some damaging winds this is going to be across portions of east central Indiana again this is going to include portions of uh, Union County and Fayette County in east central Indiana until 5 30 a.m. this morning um, looks like they are also looks like they are actually missing a county on this one as well that would include Fayette Union and Franklin counties in uh, portions yeah there it is there until uh that's going to be until 3 45 a.m the main concern right now is damaging winds to 60 miles per hour this thunderstorm from the national service is located near lake santee moving east at 45 miles per hour uh, let's put you a little bit of a track on this the latest track right now uh continues to move this off here towards the east northeast so oxford 335 Middletown 401 Dayton 421 that's if this holds together and based on some of the things that I'm seeing I would be surprised if it holds together for at least a little while there is a little bit of an outflow boundary in place and that can sometimes kind of enhance these thunderstorms that's exactly what we're seeing right now let's take you over to our velocity tool we'll look at some of the winds and yeah we are seeing some strong winds being indicated here near the town of Laurel uh, some winds perhaps these are a little overdone because again we're looking really high um, up into the atmosphere but this gives you the ideas we're seeing winds over 60 miles per hour here in some cases I'm a little bit concerned that we could see some strong winds perhaps attempting to reach down to the surface uh, so that's kind of what we're monitoring right now again this is going to be south of Connorsville this does include the town of Liberty and Brookville and Laurel also West College Center and of course the Ohio Indiana state line this is uh, also going to be coming down portions uh, this is going to be south of I-70 north of I-74 along US-52 that's kind of give you some geographical location kind of zooming out to show you again exactly where this storm is there's Dayton and Cincinnati so it's kind of to the west and kind of south and northwest of both of those communities again I'm gonna watch this one pretty closely but the main concern right now damaging winds 60 miles per hour some small hail being uh, possible with this as well we'll turn on the hail indicator naturally we're not even showing any hail popping up here but again you can see where some of these purples are so Laurel US 52 there's Brookville you can see that's where the strongest part of the storm is and it's moving off to the northeast they have it sorry east I should say at about 45 to 50 miles per hour so we'll put a, a little bit of an individual track on this one we'll track the strongest part of the storm and we'll move it off here to the uh, east and northeast at about 45 so very close to about what the weather service had it there as well so Oxford 336 and that's about kind of where the National Weather Service had their track as of right now so we'll kind of leave that on the screen here we'll pop up the severe thunderstorm warning too again till 345 for portions of Franklin Fayette and Union counties in east central Indiana and also into southeastern Indiana the other thing I want to point out right now with this storm in case you're just now tuning in is that uh, we do have the potential for this to kind of uh, maintain itself again it's kind of on the southern periphery the southern end of a line of thunderstorms that has kind of been training across the area so we'll have to watch and there's our hail marker now starting to show up and in fact it's uh, detected we could be seeing hail larger than quarter size you can see there on the screen perhaps 1.25 inch hail I think that's a little overdone I think penny size hail is a really good estimate based on what we're seeing here we are not seeing any rotation let's go back to the velocity here we're not seeing any reds here these are strictly all greens and that's a good thing although again we're looking quite a ways up uh, into the uh, mid middle and upper levels of the atmosphere we're kind of far away from the radar site at the moment so it's really tough to get a really true good reading we look at correlation coefficient for signs of debris we're not seeing any of that so that's good we're not in a tornado warning situation um, I do want to pull up and see what the uh, the National Weather Service is saying about this particular storm so bear with me here for just a moment and we'll take a look here and see what the National Weather Service has to say so again Brookville you're gonna get awakened here really soon by a pretty strong thunderstorm rolling through your area so just kind of be on the lookout for that I would expect that you're gonna see uh, some pretty intense lightning brief heavy rain especially Brookville and points north 
Um, I think there uh, will be part of this severe thunderstorm warning area that actually doesn't see much, if any, in the way of any kind of precipitation. So that's kind of where things stand. Uh, you may hear a little bit of a ding every so often here in the background. That's just going to be an update from the National Weather Service and I'm um, looking to see what they are saying. Uh, they do not have anything now, although they just did update the severe thunderstorm warning to now include this as a one inch diameter hail. Uh, so that would now be quarter size hail winds to 60 miles per hour. So we noticed that hail core and that's that purple area. So that's gonna be coming in right into the community of Laurel here very soon along US 52. You've also got State Route 244 here as well that runs across portions of this area. So that's the area that's gonna be getting hit the hardest over the next little bit here. And uh, we'll kind of watch things here closely. Uh, looking for some more updates here. Uh, but the flooding report now coming in out of Fayette County. 911 call centers now reporting that water is running over the roadway at Indiana Route 121. Okay, so that's going to be, let's go ahead and turn that on. I'll show you where that's at. That's going to be right here on the south side of Connorsville. This is why we have a flash flood warning in place until 530. So that green little icon you see on the screen, we're now seeing some flooding reports starting to come in. So that's not a good thing. Uh, that's obviously not very good. Obviously, with it being in the middle of the night, it's really hard to tell just how deep uh, the water could be as it's running across the roadway. So, again, we're going to continue to watch this closely. I'm going to stay with you for just a few more minutes. I want to see if the National Weather Service is going to update anything else for us and if any other reports start to come in. Uh, we still have flood advisories in effect for the Dayton Metro until 6 a.m. Uh, Richmond, your flood advisory will continue, I believe, until 4.30. Yes, until 4.30. So another hour and a half on that. We're still seeing some thunderstorms around Columbus with plenty of heavy rain downstream. And we're seeing a few other showers and thunderstorms trying to pop up around places like uh, Logan down to Chillicothe and Cincinnati. And then we're also seeing some just some steadier and heavier rain from places like Mount Gilead to Mount Vernon over towards Akron and Canton and over towards New Philadelphia and other scattered activity across portions of northwest Ohio and northeast Indiana. Let's look and see if anybody has any questions here. Uh, this looks to be, this will stay north of Wilmington, Sarah, so that's how things look right now. Vandalia, um, I would kind of keep an eye on this one for a little bit. I'll put you on the screen here. Let's put a, the updated track on this one. I think they still have this moving at about 50. Let's see here. They got actually moving east at 45. Uh, they're understand there's a little bit of a northward component of motion with this. So let's put a, a little bit of a line here and we'll kind of track this off. Uh, to the northeast at about 45. So that's going to bring it to, it keeps it kind of south of Vandalia for the time being. Um, but we'll watch that closely and see how things go. Um, more flash flooding reports coming in out of southeast Indiana. That's not surprising based on the radar trends we're seeing. Uh, so again, there's the latest track for you. So Germantown 358. Let's get you a little bit more uh, let's get you a couple communities that may be in the other path here. So uh, West College Corner, 327. There's really not many other locations in the path. Laurel, you're getting hit now. Hopefully you had a chance to kind of get your perhaps your car into shelter. Looks like the latest scan just came in there. I know it's very early in the morning. So this also includes Indiana Route 1, Indiana Route 101, which if you were to follow that all the way north, that takes you actually into Liberty and then up towards Richmond and then eventually way up into northern Indiana. And then you've got uh, State Route 1. That eventually goes all the way up into northern Indiana as well. US 52, this goes down towards I-74. You would take that into Cincinnati. So that's kind of where we're watching things. Um, definitely seeing some interesting trends here on the radar. Let's switch you back over to velocity. Still seeing some really strong winds potentially around the Laurel areas. Let's take a look at our tools. And yeah, we're still seeing winds well over 60 miles per hour potentially. Again, I think some of this is a little overdone because again, we're looking way up into the atmosphere. So the radar is gauging how strong the winds are uh, at least a several thousand feet above the atmosphere, and we're trying to see how much of that wind is trying to be transported down to the surface. So that's kind of where things stand right now, but a very strong return of some hail and some very heavy rain at the very least. If you're not seeing much in the way of thunder or lightning or, you know, or anything else, you're going to get plenty of rain and some hail based on the radar returns that we're seeing here. Hail markers still sitting at around an inch in diameter. And that's kind of where things stand. Marysville, you're just getting some plain rain for right now. Um, Lima, much lighter activity, especially off to your north. Cincinnati, we'll zoom out and show you this. I do want to kind of keep fans updated that this will kind of stay north of Cincinnati, but Dayton, 
Dayton in particular, that will be kind of be the next area, the kind of a, the bigger population that will be it'll be coming into. You've also got Preble and Butler County will be the next in line. If this trend continues, I think we're going to see another severe thunderstorm warning uh, in relatively short order. And now the National Weather Service has just updated the warning to now say that we are seeing larger hail than quarter size. There's your updated warning. Now moving east at 55, so it is moving and kind of picking up some speed a little bit. Um, let's see if I can get you an updated statement here. Okay, I'm waiting on that officially to come out there, so let me see if I can pull this up a different way. Um, give me just one second here. I think they do have it moving east at 55 based on some of the latest information that I'm seeing here. Uh, half, yes, half dollar size hail now and moving east at 55. So here's the latest track now from the National Weather Service. So Oxford 328, Middletown 348, Dayton now coming in a little bit before 4 o'clock. So understand that with a little bit of a faster moving storm, it's going to be coming to your area a little bit uh, sooner. Vandalia, you're kind of right on the edge of this one. So Camden, Dayton, Vandalia, Centerville, I-75, I-70, and I-675. You've also got uh, US-35, US-127 in the path of this, and also portions of US-68 uh, in the path of this too. So again, that's a really dangerous looking storm. I'm actually going to stay with this. Um, I'm getting some more comments here. Um, yeah, Emily, that uh, that hail size definitely increasing. That is a little bit of a concern for some hail damage. And the other thing I'm noticing, and I wouldn't be surprised uh, as to, we could be seeing some potential for, okay, so here's the other concern that I have right now. And let me see if that was just another update. Um, we do have a little bit of a bowing structure here, right in here. You can kind of see this a little bit. Um, it's that would be indicative of some really intense winds that are about that are basically right now crossing Indiana Route 1 kind of right on the border if you will of Laurel kind of south of Connorsville south of Liberty uh, that's gonna be on the Franklin and Fayette County border right now crossing Indiana Route 1 we're really seeing a little bit of a sign of a bowing structure that's indicative that we're getting a really good strong push of wind on the back side of the storm that's allowing that to bow out a little bit and that means some of those winds will indeed reach the surface and they could be damaging so that'll be something we have to keep a very close eye on over the next little bit so i'm going to definitely stick with this here for at least the next few minutes i want to continue to keep you posted and get the hail starting to show signs of increasing so that's obviously a concern that we have with this right now uh, let's see what everybody else is saying. Uh, do you think this is going to hit Washington Courthouse? It could. Uh, we're still at least a good hour away uh, from determining its exact path and kind of watching and see how things go. But so far, yes, most of this is staying north of Washington Courthouse. It's kind of staying uh, n kind of near and north of 71, and kind of that 71-70 corridor from about Connorsville to Dayton to Columbus. That's kind of where we're seeing the worst of the action right now and I kind of expect it to uh, to stay that way for the time being so that's kind of where things stand again I'm gonna stay with this here for a little bit so um, I'm gonna check on a couple of things here um, let's see what we've got here well, we're still seeing so we're seeing some more flash flooding reports coming in out of southeast Indiana obviously we've seen enough rain across portions of central and west central Ohio we really don't need any more rain but we are continuing to see that rain this morning that is not what we want to see so let's see what we're looking at here um, check out a couple of things here real quick as well uh, let us know how much rain you're seeing out there this morning in your neck of the woods as well I'm a little bit uh, interested to see if you do have it if, if you have a weather station let us know how much rain you have again I'm probably closing on an inch and a half of rain at this point just from tonight so we'll continue to watch this closely I'm gonna share this a couple of places here real quick I know we don't have a lot of people up yet this morning. It is kind of uh, that pre-dawn time frame. Most people, most uh, people that work day shift are still asleep. Um, I work second shift, so that's why I'm up right now. Um, I'm up a little bit later than I should be, but that's okay. I want to keep you guys safe, keep you informed what's going on. Um, let's get you zoomed back into the storm. So again, if you're just now tuning in, forecast from Nick Dunn here. We're tracking a severe thunderstorm warning. Fayette, Franklin, Union Counties, East Central Indiana until 345. A uh, really strong thunderstorm here with large hail and the potential for some damaging wind gusts to 60 miles per hour. That hail could be up to half dollar size in some instances. 
And right now, right now, the latest track from the National Weather Service has it coming into Liberty at about 325. Understand, I know it's already pouring down rain in Liberty right now. Uh, Brookville, I think you're actually going to stay dry now based on the latest storm track. I think this stays north of you, north of Oldenburg, north of Cedar Grove. This is going to cross Indiana 101 south of Liberty, at least the worst of it. If you're in the center of Liberty, I think you're going to just stay with some really heavy rain, maybe some gusty wind. I think the hail even stays south of you based on a couple of the latest radar scans that I'm seeing here. Um, do I think the storms in Cincinnati are going to be severe? No, these are just more or less showers right now, kind of in the Cincinnati metro. It's to the northwest where we're seeing the stronger and, and a severe thunderstorm threat at this point in time. Uh, the latest scan that just came in, uh, Liberty, you may actually see at least some small hail, especially on the south side of town. Uh, maybe even on the south sides of the uh, the center portion of Liberty there. We're still seeing a little bit of that Boeing structure. You can kind of pick it out, a little bit of a backward C shape. You're still getting good uh, inflow from the back side of the storm. We'll switch you back over to velocity. And, yeah, we're definitely still seeing some winds well over 50, and in some spots maybe even up to 60 miles per hour. Again, we're, we're still looking pretty high up there. Once the storm crosses into Ohio, we'll have a much better idea uh, what's going on with this one. Uh, we have a new flash flood warning now that has just been issued for uh, Montgomery and Preble County. You just saw it pop up on your screen there. That's going to be for Dayton, Vandalia, Miamisburg, Lewisburg, Eaton, and Camden. This is going to go until 6.15 a.m. So for the next three hours, I think that's a good call. We've already seen one to two inches of rain in this area. And obviously, if you look back into east central Indiana, there is more rain to come. So that's why they've went ahead and issued that flash flood warning from Montgomery and Preble County until 615. So that's kind of the latest here. We still have flash flood warning for Union and portions of Fayette County until 530. Obviously, the flood advisor that was in effect for the Dayton Metro is obviously now canceled. The other area of concern, and the, for those of you downstream here in Columbus and central Ohio, this definitely concerns me right here. Uh, kind of this corridor right in here. This is where I would be really concerned for some uh, flash flooding that could cause road closures, could cause some of your smaller creeks and tributaries to come out of their banks briefly. This is the area of concern that I would say right now, kind of near I-70, near I-71, uh, kind of the Columbus downtown metro, Dayton metro, and then obviously back into Richmond and Connorsville, we already have flooding ongoing. And I'll put the radar into motion and you will see why I'm concerned about that area. Look at the rounds of heavy rain that continue to just stream across the same areas repeatedly. That's why we're so concerned this morning about that potential for severe, uh, some of the flooding that may be taking place. And now we're starting to become concerned about possibly um, we could be watching for that potential for some severe weather now about to cross into portions of Ohio. So we're still looking at that hail core. Let's take you back now. We'll get you zoomed back into the severe thunderstorm warning. There is still some hail being detected. Um, especially now, it's going to be, I'm trying to get you a road here. It's going to be south of Indiana Route 44, crossing Indiana 101 south of Liberty. We're still seeing signs of hail, and it could be decent size. We're still could be seeing hail up to half dollar size. Radar continues to say hail larger than an inch in diameter, and an 80% chance that that hail is severe, which again would have to be at one inch in diameter or larger. Uh, you see those you see Zach in the comments section that's one of our newer forecasters uh, that's kind of uh, he's kind of answering a couple of questions there as well in the comments section I appreciate that he's actually heading home um, and maybe perhaps he could join us if the storm were to continue perhaps he can join us and uh, kind of give us some of the things that he's seeing as well so uh, the latest track now let's get you an updated track give you a time of arrival again I'm staying with this just because of the fact that uh, it is very early in the morning uh, we do have a rather large hail threat, and of course we have that threat for damaging winds. Um, I'm going to keep the movement on this at about 50 miles per hour right now. So there's your latest track on the worst of this. Uh, they continue the severe thunderstorm until 345 uh, for Franklin and Union. So they have taken Fayette County out of the warning now. I think that's a good move. Um, hail increasing even further now. Uh, this is going to be... Let me get you an update on this. And the hail, the, they're saying that the hail threat continues to increase. Ping pong ball size hail now. One and a half inch diameter hail. There's a look at it there on the uh, the warning description. Uh, this is a really intense and dangerous storm. So uh, a call to action now for those of you in extreme northwestern Butler County, southern Preble County, around Camden. 
Uh, be prepared because I think this they're going to have to issue another severe thunderstorm warning. Oxford, I'd be prepared there too. I know that's where the uh, university, and we've got a couple of colleges in this neck of the woods here too. You've also got Gratis is in the way. I think I may have mispronounced that, but I may even be Gratis. Uh, so Southern Preble County, far northwestern Butler County. This is your call to action now. If you're just now waking up and you're seeing that uh, there's a really strong storm to your west, go ahead and uh, stay indoors until this thing passes. This thing looks really dangerous on radar. Uh, the latest scan, it may have weakened just a little bit, but we're still seeing that potential for some severe weather to continue. And I think it's going to be just a matter of, of just a couple of minutes now before we see a new severe thunderstorm warning for portions of uh, Butler and Preble County. So we'll hang tight here. And uh, there it is, a severe thunderstorm now for Butler and Preble County till 4 o'clock. You'll see that on the screen here in just a second. Um, you'll see a, a flashing orange polygon that will uh, should come up on the screen here in just a couple of seconds. This is going to go until 4 o'clock for ping pong ball size hail. There it is. And winds to 60 miles per hour. So Eaton, Camden, Oxford. There's your uh, locations that, that are going to be in the path of this. There's an updated track for you. And this is actually, they're actually tracking this out to about over a two-hour time period. So downtown Dayton at about to 4 o'clock. This is going to be on your doorstep. I, I think the Weather Service may not quite be uh, pushing this perhaps uh, as far east as they should because this, this warning is going to be out of the original polygon before 345. Um, at this particular point in time. So again, if you're just now tuning in on forecast, you're we have our second severe thunderstorm warning now of the morning. This is going to be for a good chunk of Preble County in northwestern Butler County. We told you a few minutes ago that this was your call to action to start preparing, and here we go. We now have a severe thunderstorm warning for you. So locations that are in the polygon, so Eaton, Camden, West College Corner, and Oxford. Dangerous storm. Get indoors now. Uh, we're seeing a lot of lightning, obviously some large hail threat, again up to ping pong ball size hail. So there's actually a couple of areas of concern for hail. Number one here, obviously with the core of the storm between Liberty and Brookville, there's a couple of secondary areas where we could be seeing some smaller hail, uh, kind of in between Eaton and Camden, and then uh, kind of east of Liberty as well. So that's what we're watching. Let's take you over to Velocity, and we'll show you what's going on here. Yeah, we're still getting really good uh, feedback here of winds of at least 50 miles per hour, if not even higher than that, to 60, and in some spots even higher. So that's where things stand there. Um, from the National Weather Service now, multiple threats coming into the Dayton area with flash flooding uh, expected. Also due to a very strong storm uh, that is capable of very large hail and damaging winds. So that is straight from the Weather Service. So that's kind of a call to action now for those of you in Dayton. Be prepared for flash flooding. A very intense storm is coming your way now as well based on what we're seeing on radar. So we're going to continue to watch this one closely. Again, I know it's very early in the morning and uh, perhaps some of you are still asleep. But if you do know anybody in the path, now would be a good time uh, to let them know what is heading their way um, at this point. So give me just a couple of seconds here. I'm going to, um, let's see here. I'm going to share this in a couple of different places here. Again, just uh, a couple of spots I know where we do have some uh, folks in the path. Um, you should be, if you are uh, watching us on Ohio News and Weather or on the Miami Valley News and Weather page or on Ohio Storm Center, we thank you for watching us this morning. I'm forecaster Nick Dunn. We have a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings in place, and there are some uh, fairly intense storms that we're tracking right now about to cross out of Indiana and into West Central Ohio. Again, we're concerned about damaging winds and some large hail. Uh, right now the tornado threat looks very, very low. We are definitely not seeing any rotation on radar, and I would sure if the Weather Service thought that there would be, they would probably kind of let us know that. Uh, but we're not, we're not seeing any of that right now on radar. So uh, pretty intense thunderstorm. I have to say I was kind of surprised to see this maintain. Uh, the environment is suitable for this thunderstorm to continue to maintain its intensity. Um, over the next uh, hour or two at least as it's coming over towards Dayton and perhaps even ultimately Columbus. I'll have to watch that one. I'm in Columbus right now. We are still seeing off and on downpours a very heavy rain this morning. We'll have to watch that. Um, let's see here. Okay, um, looks like some of the local media outlets in Dayton are starting to pay attention to this uh, thunderstorm here as well. Not surprising. Okay. Uh, raining hard here in Wilmington. Yeah, you're getting a quick little shower coming through right now. 
Um, Okay, so good, the, again, the good news right now is we're not seeing any rotation. I'm checking a secondary source here uh, for that. And again, the good news is not seeing any signs of rotation, even aloft right now. Uh, but again, those of you in the Dayton area, this is kind of your call to action. This is a pretty strong storm. It is very early on a Friday morning. And uh, you definitely need to be ready in the event that there's a warning issued for you. But again, right now it's not looking like a tornado warning, looking as uh, more of a severe thunderstorm warning would be issued for your area. So let's get you zoomed in tight here around West College Corner because that's where the peak of this storm is coming into right now. You can see there's a lot of purple. There's US 27 that extends down into portions of southwestern Ohio even. And we'll get you some indications here of just how heavy some of the returns are. We're seeing some DBZ values in the upper 60s. That is a very good indication of hail. Um, and it could be large hail, in fact, uh, greater than quarters, perhaps up to the size of half dollars coming to West College Corner. That is damaging hail that could do a significant amount of damage uh, to your cars, and that could leave some dents. So if you're in Dayton, perhaps just out of a course of least regret, if you're just now waking up, you're just now seeing this, go and get your car in the garage, get in, under that carport, and uh, we're going to stick it out with you. We're going to keep you posted until these storms have moved on. Um, I do want, I think we're going to stay with uh, continuous coverage here until these storms kind of weaken or we no longer have warnings, which it could be a while depending on how things pan out. So those of you that are joining us now, we hope you stay with us here uh, for the long haul. So that's kind of where things stand uh, right now. So again, uh, those of you in Columbus, the rain is kind of letting up a little bit. We're going to kind of bounce around between the warning and we'll kind of give you a regional synopsis of what's going on too. Uh, this is all part of a weather system and area of low pressure working through. There is plenty of rain coming in right now from uh, basically Connersville, Dayton, Columbus, um, and kind of about 20 to 30 miles on either side of that line. Again, we showed you that area of concern for flooding a little while ago. Right now, a good portion of Licking County getting hit very hard with some heavy rain. That's moving into Muskingum County, Coshocton County, maybe a couple rumbles of thunder there. More or less just some steadier rain right now. Um, up in Knox County, Delaware County, Union County, Champaign County. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center has now issued a mesoscale discussion for the area, so let's check that out. And let's see if they're going to issue a watch on this one. Give me just a second here while I look that up. Um, right now they are saying... Um, okay, let's see what they're going to do here. I'm a little confused by this one so bear with me for just a second uh, they did issue okay let's see here okay so the storm prediction center is monitoring southwestern Ohio uh, we could see a new watch issued. It would likely, I would have to think, would likely be a severe thunderstorm watch, um, although I'm not sure on that. Um, also, report coming in, this is very delayed out of Hamilton County, is some thunderstorm wind damage at about midnight. Um, Semi trailer partially blown over on I 71. We'll work to get some more details on that one. Okay, so as it stands right now, um, a new watch is unlikely, but they are going to monitor trends. Um, the mesoscale discussion includes basically Dayton and Cincinnati in particular. It extends back through southeastern Indiana and into Kentucky and Tennessee. I do want to point there is a tornado watch down in southern Indiana. They do not, as of right now, expect that to be continued um, into, excuse me, into our neck of the woods, but we'll have to wait and see um, how radar and uh, how radar trends prevail. If there is one piece of uh, good news, it is that this storm appears to perhaps uh, becoming more of a line um, instead of this just kind of one concentrated area. We'll have to watch and wait and see how these trends continue to unfold. Uh, but again, I'm still concerned about the storm. Camden, you're getting hit very hard right now. Eaton, especially east and south of town, I think you're going to be getting the worst of this one. Oxford, it's going to be a close call. I think the worst of this especially goes north of town. You've got State Route 732, US 127, State Route 503, Somerville, West Elkton, Jacksonburg, Camden, 
um, kind of keeping a close on you. There's that hail core. I'll tell you, it has shrunk just a little bit, but it is staying intact as it is right now kind of straddling the butler Preble County border uh, at this point in time. So that's kind of where things stand at the moment. Again, if you're just now tuning in, I'm forecaster Nick Dunn. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center monitoring things closely too. Looks like there may be some additional thunderstorm activity starting to develop uh, across portions of southern Indiana. I'm going to take a look at that um, off screen here just to see if we need to be watching this. We will have to watch that closely and see uh, if that does begin to become an issue uh, for parts of our area. Um, you, may, you may also hear some thunder in the background. It's just to the south of my house here, we're seeing some lightning strikes. So if it gets a little noisy in the video, that would be why. Uh, winds picking up in Wilmington. Thanks for the report. Josh says heavy rain in New Vienna. That's not surprising. Let's get you an updated track. Um, the Weather Service has kind of uh, slowed down the updates here a little bit on this warning. So let's see here. Let's get you an updated track. Uh, it's going to be for this part of the storm here near Camden and Oxford. Again, moving off here to the northeast at speeds of about 50 miles per hour. So we now start to see Columbus come into view at a little after 5 a.m. Um, there's also another area of concern I'm going to talk about in just a second, uh, kind of right along US 35, just west of Dayton. I'll talk about that one in just a second. But right now, Oxford basically now, Miamisburg 356, Kettering 404, and into Beaver Creek at 411. That's kind of where things stand right now. Um, another area of concern, I just mentioned this a second ago, is here east of Eaton near West Alexandria along Route 503 at US 35. There's uh, some increasing signs of hail starting to show up here. If we go over to our velocity product, uh, thankfully it looks like the winds here are not overly impressive right now. That could change over a couple scans. It looks like south of West Alexandria is where some of the winds are a little stronger, but we'll have to watch that closely. Uh, kind of where the core of the storm is right now, we're still seeing wind speeds. Uh, perhaps up to 60 miles per hour still, so that's worth watching. That's why the severe thunderstorm warning continues. That's why it was issued, because that potential does exist. I um, think the radar was acting a little funky there. There we go. Um, Franklin and Union counties have been dropped from the severe thunderstorm warning. That's no surprise. Uh, we expected that would definitely be the case. Uh, this is definitely not heading for Norwalk as of right now. This is way, way south of you and definitely not trending uh, in that direction. Uh, for those of you that are on Ohio News and Weather, and perhaps you're seeing uh, the posts come up with the... Okay, interesting. Let's see here. Um, give me one second. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, give me one second here. Just updating a couple of things here on my end. Um, I'm also running things solo this morning, so just kind of bear with me. Okay, that should clean things up just a little bit. Okay, um, let's see here. Okay, thanks, Zach, for answering that. So let's get you a quick update here. If you're just now tuning in, forecast Nick Dunn here. Still tracking a severe thunderstorm warning for Preble and Butler counties here until 4 a.m. Very strong thunderstorm now coming near Oxford, just passed out of West College Corner, coming into Camden, West Alexandria, down to Somerville. Uh, we're kind of seeing things perhaps organized just a little bit into a, a pretty intense looking line. I expect a lot of lightning, strong wind, a new severe thunderstorm right now for Green, Miami, and Montgomery counties until 415 for 60 mile per hour winds. That is going to be, I'm trying to see, okay, let's wait for the polygon. Okay, there it is. Uh, new severe thunderstorm. Right okay, so this is going to be for the storm that is uh, coming through West Alexandria. This is kind of that area east of Eaton. Uh, that I was becoming a little bit concerned about, and I thought maybe we would see another warning out of that. And sure enough, that's what we have. So uh, this now coming into New Lebanon, near Farmersville, Drexel, Shiloh, Vandalia, Huber Heights. Definitely need to be start uh, keeping a close eye on this one. Uh, this is moving off to the northeast at about uh, 60 miles per hour. 
We'll get you an updated track here in just a second. In fact, there you go, Dayton 345. Again, bear with me, we need to do a housekeeping item real quick. Okay, so that's kind of where things stand right now. So again, that's going to be far southeastern Miami County, most of Montgomery County, and extreme northwestern Greene County as we're, um, kind of where things stand at the moment. Uh, also, give me one second here. Um, Um, so eventually now, those of you downstream, uh, this is going to be including basically most, if not all, the Dayton Metro, especially Dayton and points north along I-75. That's going to include the uh, I-70 to I-75 interchange. That's going to include uh, a small portion of I-675. That's also going to include I-75 at US-35. Just name a couple of the more major uh, intersections that this will be coming across. Uh, again, penny size hail winds to 60 miles per hour. The hail threat kind of evolving I think right now with this northern uh, northern thunderstorm the southern part of this now coming through Camden and Oxford kind of regaining strength a little bit uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if this kind of becomes more of a line and we may see multiple warnings yet to come out of this uh, depending on how these storms continue to evolve we're watching things very closely I'm gonna get we're gonna stay with you until these storms have let up until they've moved out of the area and again uh, perhaps I can get forecaster Zach Batten in here in just a little bit once he is home and uh, he can kind of help out a little bit with things um, as well good morning um, from Fairborn um, those of you in Fairborn you're not you're not far from being in the warning here there's Fairborn in, uh, in the northwestern Greene County near Wright Patterson Air Force Base you can see the flashing orange polygon I know it might be kind of tough to see with as many other colors as we have on the radar this morning but uh, you're kind of right on the edge of that warning in fact I would say if you're associated with Fairborn there's a chance you're in the warning and that this goes until four o'clock damaging winds to 60 miles per hour and some penny size hail are going to be possible stay indoors until these storms pass uh, definitely a little bit concerning here uh, what we're seeing on the radar at the moment um let me check and look at for some new reports here real quick uh, we do have a report of hail of quarter size hail uh, in franklin county indiana near the town of blooming grove I knew there were some other communities there, which just was not populating on the radar. That is a as of 3:08, so about a half hour ago, we had quarter size hail, and that's from this southern storm here that is coming kind of in between Camden and Oxford, coming right into Somerville. That's along US 127 again, and continues to straddle the Butler Preble County border. New call to action now: Germantown, Franklin, Kettering, Centerville. I think our next warning is going to include southeastern Montgomery, northeastern uh, portions of Butler County, and maybe a sliver of Warren County around Franklin. We'll wait and see how this storm tracks. If it tracks any further north, it could stay out of Warren County. So we'll watch that closely here. Uh, they do continue the severe thunderstorm warning for portions of Butler and Preble until 4 o'clock for ping pong ball size hail winds to 60. That's still moving a little slower now at about 40 miles per hour, so not as quick, uh, but there's an updated track for you. Still coming into Franklin, Miamisburg, West Carrollton City, and Centerville within the next half hour. So again, that's again your call to action there for Southern Montgomery County, Northeastern Butler County, Northwestern Warren County. Be ready, because I think this storm will continue to produce severe thunderstorm warnings based on the look that we are seeing on radar um, as it stands right now. Give me just one second here. Okay. Um, Alicia says, you just got woke up from thunder and lightning. That's definitely uh, not surprising. And yes, you do not have a severe thunderstorm warning. So thanks for tuning in. We are going to stay with you here. Um, they do continue the severe thunderstorm warning again for Butler and Preble County. Uh, perhaps we've had an maybe we're getting some reports coming in now they just did an update five minutes ago and now another update has come out um, so perhaps you're seeing some things on radar uh, that would perhaps lead that to believe that we're getting some reports let's see here no this is still radar indicated so we're not getting any reports of uh, severe weather whether it be quarter size hail or larger at this point in time uh, but we will continue to watch things closely let's see here um, 
Okay. Okay. Uh, looks like Zach is uh, going to let me know here soon whether or not he wants to join. Uh, and let us know what he is seeing up in his neck of the woods from northwestern Ohio. Um, you're welcome. That's what we're here for. Uh, let's get you a quick summary. So, severe thunderstorm until 4 a.m. for southeastern Preble, north central Butler County. Ping pong ball size hail possible there. Newer severe thunderstorm warning all of the downtown Dayton metro, Dayton and points north. This is going to include uh, far northwestern Greene County near Fairborn, far southeastern Miami County, and a good chunk of Montgomery County. So Trotwood, Drexel, Dayton, Vandalia, Huber Heights, near New Carlisle, that's into Clark County, near Fairborn, north of Kettering. That's kind of giving you some geographical location there. That includes I-70 there at the uh, I-75 interchange. That includes I-75 at US-35 as well. Just kind of giving you some, uh, uh, kind of giving you some bearing as to where we stand at the moment. Um, yes, Adam, I'm keeping a close eye on those as well. Um, Kathy, how were things in Oxford? You said things have calmed, but it was it did get bad in Oxford. Um, I would I, th I would think especially on the north side of town. Um, West Dayton just has light rain and thunder. Okay, I do expect that to pick up um, in the next little bit. The next band of activity is actually coming through Trotwood, New Lebanon, and Farmersville right now. There is some scattered instances of some purple. That would be indicative of at least some small hail. Again, I thought that the hail threat was a little more questionable here, but definitely the damage and wind threat increasing a little bit. We're still seeing that potential there based on just the overall look um, of the radar there. So uh, let's see what we can look at here as well. Uh, let's see what we're looking at here. Okay. Um, again, I'm running solo for right now, so it's kind of where things stand. I'm checking a couple different things kind of on air and, and uh, kind of off air as well, kind of keeping you as informed as it can be. So, again, uh, right now, if you're in Huber Heights and Dayton, the worst of this severe thunderstorm is about to come into your neck of the woods. Uh, radar continues to show perhaps some telltale signs of at least some uh, straight line wind damage potential um, near Drexel actually more like just to the southwest of Drexel. I'll plot some wind speeds here for you. You can see where the radar is kind of depicting some of the strongest winds. Again, we're still looking a little ways up, although not quite as high as we were just a little while ago. Uh, but winds getting close to that 60 mile per hour threshold, kind of in that new Lebanon, Drexel, Farmersville area, kind of uh, just along US 35 and just to the south of there. We're still not seeing any signs of rotation. I definitely do not think this will be um, a morning where we see tornado warnings. I think this is going to be more of a severe thunderstorm warning kind of start to the day, but we'll see how things evolve. Uh, I'll get you back now to the south. Uh, we've got a new severe thunderstorm right now for Butler, Montgomery, and Warren. So we gave you a call to action about five or so minutes ago, maybe a little bit longer than that. Uh, this is going to include Germantown. This is going to include Kettering. This will include Centerville. This will include Franklin. Uh, this will likely not include Middletown. This will kind of be north of Middletown, I think, based on what we're seeing here. That new polygon should come up on the screen now. There it is. And they actually did include Middletown. Uh, so this is going to include I-75 now, down into portions of northwestern Warren County, northeastern Butler County, south the south southern half of Montgomery County. So now everybody in Montgomery County, with the exception of the far northwestern quarter. So Brookville, you're all clear at this point. Union, you're all clear. Verona, you're all clear. Lewisburg, you're clear. Eaton, you're clear. Camden, you're clear at this point. Uh, Somerville, give it a couple more minutes for you. Oxford, you're clear now. Uh, so those of you now, Dayton, Kettering, Germantown, Carlisle, Huber Heights, Fairborn, Farmersville, just name a few locations, be prepared. Really strong thunderstorms coming through this morning with the history of producing hail in southeast Indiana, and I'll tell you, this is really holding together. It has weakened just a little bit, I think, over the last couple of scans, uh, but it is still holding together. It's, it's still intact. Again, a little bit of a couple different areas of hail coming through West Elkton right now, also into uh, Gratis. We're watching that one very closely. That's crossing State Route 503 right now, State Route 122, State Route 725. Just kind of naming some of the bigger roads that are in the area. If you're if you're uh, any if you are familiar with that area or you know any of those roads that I'm talking about, now is the time to be taking shelter until uh, the storm has passed over your location. They are maintaining that potential for ping pong ball sized hail with this southern warning now. So uh, Dayton and Point South. 
bigger hail threat, Dayton, and I'll sorry, let me rephrase that, Dayton and Point South, a bigger hail and a bigger wind threat, Dayton and Points, if you're, if you're north of Dayton, more or less just a wind threat at this point. Uh, so definitely some concerns continuing. Um, next call to action I think is going to have to be now for Enon, Yellow Springs, and Xenia. Within the next 45 minutes to an hour, a line of very intense thunderstorms producing a tremendous amount of rain and perhaps some hail and some damaging winds are going to be coming into your location. So just kind of keep that um, in the back of your mind and keep that, uh, just kind of be prepared. Um, will the storms in uh, southern Indiana hit? Uh, what area will the storms in southern Indiana hit once they're in Ohio? We'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, we're going to put the radar into motion now. I want to kind of show you the evolution of how the last hour has went. We talked to you um, roughly at about 2.40, 2.30. We told you we were watching a, a, a small complex of storms in southern Indiana around Greensburg, southwest of Connorsville. You can see how that has evolved. Uh, we now have numerous severe thunderstorm warnings for the Dayton Metro and the surrounding uh, nearby communities as well, especially south and west of Dayton. You can see how that has evolved, especially the southern end of that staying very intense. Uh, we're not, we've not seen any reports of wind yet. The only reports we've gotten so far are hail and flooding reports. That may change. And uh, we'll talk about the storms in southern Indiana here in just a couple of minutes. In fact, we'll zoom out and show you those. Um, you're not going to get a full look at them, but there is a severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, well south of Indianapolis here, kind of north and west of Louisville. If that trend were to continue, the Cincinnati Metro would be next in line for that one. So we've still got a little ways to go here, and it could be a long morning here on our family of pages here this morning. So that's kind of where things stand. Um, Gratis is reporting half-inch size hail and two and a quarter inches of rain. That is definitely not surprising over the last hour or so. That's why we have the flash flood warning in place for portions of Preble County. Intense rain coming through. Uh, and now we're getting some reports that over two inches of rain has fallen in that area. Um, that's kind of worth things. And that, and that is coming from Emergency Management Agency there out of Preble County. Turn around, don't drown. That's going to be a good theme this morning. So, again, those of you who are just now tuning in, I'm forecaster Nick Dunn. We're still tracking severe weather across the Miami Valley. And checking on a couple of things here for you. Um, real quick, you might see the screen uh, kind of blank out for just a second. I need to check. I need to take care of one thing here, real quick. Uh, you might again. You might see the screen turn white for just a second. Okay, there you go. You may. You should no longer see that. Hopefully. And uh, bear with me for just one second. I need to send one message. So let's get you back to the radar here, radar here really quick. Um, let me look also at looking at something here behind the scenes. Looking at terminal Doppler, uh, not seeing any rotation on terminal Doppler either. That is a good thing. Um, flash flood warning continues until 5:30 for Fayette and Union counties in East Central Indiana. No surprise there. All right, let's get you zoomed in now to basically Montgomery County. You're kind of taking the center stage of attention right now, um, especially south of I-70. If you are in Vandalia, you're definitely not going to be seeing the worst of this. Same can be said for New Carlisle, Tip City, Inglewood. You guys are good. If you uh, took shelter, if you are uh, indoors waiting to uh, perhaps head out for work, or if perhaps you're about to go home from work, you're kind of in the clear now. Unless you're heading south and east of those areas, definitely kind of use caution. Uh, but if you're in those areas, you're definitely in the clear. So Germantown, hail threat coming into your community right now. And um, that's kind of where things stand there. I'm um, sorry if you heard my cat again. He's a little interested. This is one of his uh, first times with thunderstorms coming through. So he's a little excited, perhaps. And uh, he's going to perhaps join us for a little bit of action here 
this morning as well. So again, let us know where, what you are seeing in your locations. That's very important. Um, is Huber Heights clear now? Yes, I, it will be here within the next 15 minutes. Let me clarify that. You will be clear in about the next 15 minutes, at least from the worst of this. There's still some residual rain from Brookville and New Lebanon that will swing through, but the worst of this should be out of here within the next 15 minutes. It is moving fairly quickly. That's one good thing. Uh, so we should be seeing that very soon. Should you be taking cover in Huber Heights, just stay indoors. Let this storm come through. Don't venture outside. Some strong winds, heavy rain, and probably at least some smaller size hail coming through. Uh, the heart of Huber Heights right now, that's going to be along Route 201. That's going to be east of Northridge, near Route 4, south of 70, and along uh, Route 202 and 201. So that, that's kind of a close-in look there at Huber Heights. Um, a close-in look here at Dayton shows us that we're seeing some very heavy rain and again, maybe some small hail. I don't think the hail threat is very uh, high right now in the Dayton area. I think it would be more of a heavy rain and wind threat. Working away a little further south, uh, Miamisburg, West Carrollton City, and Kettering. You guys are about to get the worst of it now. Your uh, hail threat there into Germantown definitely on the increase. The uh, strongest of the hail, perhaps still to quarter size. Again, this has trended down, and now the latest scan has it right in Germantown now, perhaps up to that quarter size hail right along Route 4. There's Route 725, Route 123 as well. That's kind of where things stand there. Uh, the National Weather Service is not issuing any new severe thunderstorm warnings yet. Um, the next call to action, though, if they're going to issue one, um, is probably going to be for Springfield, Enon, um, Yellow Springs, Xenia, down to Waynesville. That would be kind of the next area just to kind of keep an eye on. We could see new warnings issued at any time for any of those locations as well. Okay, let's see what else we're looking at here. Again, biggest thing this morning also to keep in mind, turn around, don't drown. Obviously a concern. We don't want you out and about this morning if you don't have to be. Um, not just because of the weather, but of some other circumstances as well. Um, let's see here. Uh, what about the system that caused tornado warnings in Tennessee? Um, so again, kind of to update you on that, yes, there are there are tornado warnings in Tennessee that will stay well to our south. Uh, there are some stronger thunderstorms still to come through yet in south central Indiana that we will have to watch, and that's kind of what uh, that's going to be kind of the next area we have to watch once this continues to clear through. So again, I do want to emphasize I think the tornado threat's really really low this morning. Um, I don't foresee that being a major deal. Um, I think if we were going to see a tornado warning, we probably would have already have seen it. That's not to say we won't see one still, uh, but I think that threat is pretty low this morning. Okay. Again, uh, feel free to share this around with your friends and family. I know it's not; uh, it's fairly early in the morning still. Give me just one second here. And I appreciate Zach answering some questions. I didn't realize he was still answering some questions, so that's good to see. Thanks, Zach. I appreciate that. Um, okay, new severe thunderstorm right now for Clark and Greene County and Montgomery County until 4.15 a.m. Again, a really intense thunderstorm coming through that area right now. Um, let's see here. Give me one second. Okay, so Zach is going to uh, stay in the chat right now. So new severe thunderstorm right now for Springfield, Xenia, Clifton, Enon, South Charleston. Uh, that's actually where Zach is from. So he's, his former area is going to be getting hit pretty hard here. Uh, threat right now is for damaging winds to 60 miles per hour and hail to the size of less than pennies. So that's one good piece of information is that the hail threat, at least on the northern portion of this, has decreased. I think we're going to see a second severe thunderstorm warning soon for the rest of Greene County, Northeastern Warren County, and maybe Northern Clinton County. Uh, so that's kind of something to kind of keep an eye out on. Very heavy rain, very vivid lightning based on some of the uh, lightning tools that I'm looking at. Um, I think we will see a good amount of lightning with this coming right through the heart of Dayton. And yes, lightning has really in increased 
um, over the next little while. Give me one second here. Okay. Um, hopefully, you guys are sharing this around with your friends and family. Again, I know we don't have a lot of people watching this morning. Hopefully, as we get a little further into the morning, more of you will begin to tune in. And again, I do want to stay with this this morning. It's very early. We don't have any watches in place. We told you there was a threat of severe weather. Um, however, we're starting to see that threat become a little more real. And I'm a little concerned that perhaps some of us are not quite awake yet, and that's okay. Um, I'm definitely up past my bedtime. I should be asleep right now and getting ready for second shift tomorrow, but hey, that's all right. Um, again, your guys' safety is more important to me right now. So we'll keep you guys informed, let you guys know what's going on uh, as it's happening across here. So just checking a couple of other things here really quick. Um, let's see here. Bear with me one second. Okay, um, so let's get you an update on who's in and who's out of the uh, newest warning. So I'm going to turn the radar data off temporarily. So we have Northridge, Springfield, South Charleston, Clifton, Cedarville, Xenia. You're all in the warning. Take shelter. Move indoors till the storm passes. Enon, New Carlisle, Yellow Springs, Fairborn, Beaver Creek. All of you guys in this warning too. Again, take shelter and uh, move away from windows until the storm passes. Not a tornado warning. Do not expect a tornado warning. Based on some of the radar data we're seeing, definitely not looking at, at uh, that kind of thing right now. Um, new flash flood warning here. One second here. Okay. Um, Okay, so there's a new flash, flash flood warning now for Greene and Clark County. That was just issued till 7:15. So obviously, flooding, uh, the Weather Service taking that threat very seriously, um, as they should. Um, a new report now out of Wheatville in Preble County: 3.1 inches of rain, with 1.4 inches falling in the last 37 minutes. So uh, that's very interesting to see. And bear with me here just one second. Sorry about that. Uh, so Springfield, you're getting hit pretty hard right now. Uh, that's going to be along US 68, yeah, yeah. Ohio Route 72, I 70. Enon, you're getting hit pretty hard right now as well. Um, checking out a couple other things here real quick as well. Um, okay, Zach is still in the chat. That's good. Uh, Alicia, no problem. Again, that's uh, what we're here for. We strive to keep everybody informed and keep everybody safe, and that's kind of where things stand at the moment. So, uh, Springfield, Xenia, uh, Springfield, you're, you're going to be getting hit for at least the next 10, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, Huber Heights, the worst of it is almost on your back doorstep. Same for Dayton. Let's go down to Miamisburg where we're seeing uh, some signs of hail crossing I-75 at 675 right now. That's going to be heading towards Kettering and Centerville in the next little bit, down towards five points, especially on the north side of town there. Um, Ohio Route 741, Ohio Route 48 in the path of that. Still seeing signs of hail to one inch in diameter there. Also seeing some signs of hail increasing uh, kind of right over Fairborn, especially on the south side there at uh, 675 and 235. Seeing some potential there that there could be some hail falling with that particular part of the thunderstorm there. Okay. Again, if you guys want to share this around with your friends and family, I would appreciate it. Again, I know not many are still awake yet. It's not quite 4 o'clock. Typically overnight severe weather, not something we see very often. Um, Weather Service continues the severe thunderstorm warning from Montgomery and Warren County until 4.30. They have canceled it for Butler County. Uh, still the potential of some half dollar size hail. They have decreased the hail just a little bit, and I think that's a fair assessment just based on the fact that we have not seen anything above quarter size. We have seen pea size hail. We've seen quarter size hail. We've seen nickel size hail. We have not seen anything bigger than quarters, so that's one thing to keep in mind there. 
Uh, Riverside, you're still seeing some pretty intense weather coming through your neck of the woods. Clifton, it'll be on your doorstep soon. Let's go ahead and get you an updated track now because we kind of now have a very well-organized line that uh, appears to want to stay maintained, does not appear to want to weaken, and we'll move this off to the east here at about 45 miles per hour. So right now, Centerville, Xenia, Grove City, also London and South Solon. Uh, we've also got West Jefferson in the path here. Catawba, you're just outside of the path here. I think the worst of it stays just here south. We'll watch that over the next couple of scans, see if that changes. You've got Cedarville here uh, coming in at 405. Jamestown, you're kind of on the southern end of this, but I think they're going to issue a new warning to include uh, part of your area here very soon. Um, they do now have a flood advisory now for portions of Clark and Franklin and Madison County till 8 a.m. So that's not surprising. Yeah, we're seeing an, an immense amount of rain. Um, and I may go check my rain gauge here in just a couple of minutes just to, out of curiosity, see where things stand at the moment. Again, a really uh, rough start to your morning. Uh, and bear with me here just one second. Um, okay. Um, so again, right now we're tracking this. Uh, Green Miami Montgomery, your severe thunderstorm has been canceled. That's to get it out. That was the one for the Dayton and North. That warning has been canceled. You'll see that drop off your screen here in just a second. If you're just now tuning in, get you an update on the warnings that we have in place, both severe and flood warnings that we have in place. So first of all, severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Montgomery County, including Centerville and Kettering, and the northern portions of Warren County near the community of Franklin. That warning will continue as we could still be seeing some large hail. That warning goes until 4.30 a.m., um, I think that will definitely be allowed to expire a little bit sooner. And in fact, it will probably be canceled a little bit sooner as that storm is really progressing quickly, moving east at about 50 to 60 miles per hour. The newer severe thunderstorm that has been issued is for portions of Clark and Greene County. This will go uh, for a little bit longer period of time based on what we're seeing here. Uh, this will go until 415. This was actually recently issued, so perhaps now the weather service is starting to catch on. These storms are moving just a little bit quicker than uh, what things were looking at maybe about a half hour ago. Moving east at about 50 miles per hour, winds to 60, a uh, little bit less of a hail threat there. The bigger hail threat still down in Kettering and Centerville. Uh, we do have flood, uh, flash flood warnings in effect for the Dayton Metro, Springfield area, down to Xenia, flood advisories for Columbus and London. Uh, so some really intense weather rolling through the area this morning. Uh, really take it easy out there. We're going to see a lot of very heavy rain, lots of thunder and lightning, and now the potential for some damaging winds and hail. Again, tornado threat seems really, really low at this point. Um, I would not be surprised to if we don't see any tornado warnings at all. I think that's not going to be the case. I think we're going to stay severe thunderstorm warning uh, at this point in time. Large hail potential, especially on the southern end of this line. So Xenia, I think your hail threat is going to begin to increase very soon, especially in the heart of Xenia. Uh, that's not something we always talk about. We usually, uh, we don't see hail this early in the morning. It's not very common to see that. And uh, now the latest scan is actually suggesting that now coming into Clifton and just to the south of Enon, there could be some hail. We'll talk about that one in just a second. Um, yes, Grove City within the next hour or so. Columbus, same for you. It's going to get loud. It's going to get noisy, uh, especially for those of you, if it's already very noisy in Springfield, you're probably awake, wondering what's going on. You've got a severe thunderstorm rolling through. It's about 4 o'clock in the morning now. And that's kind of where things stand. So flash flood warning rise. Flash flood warning wise, Clark and Green County till 715, Montgomery Preble County till 615, flood advisories for the Columbus Metro until 8 a.m. And I think that's uh, not going to be the last warnings that we see. I think we're going to continue to see some more severe thunderstorm warnings here early this morning. Downstream, the Cincinnati Metro, kind of a call to action to you. We're watching a line of thunderstorms building across southeast Indiana, kind of in the uh, Seymour area north of Louisville. We're kind of watching that closely as well. So that's kind of where things stand there. Uh, we're waiting on a new warning now, and uh, we'll see if they elect to issue a new warning here for Greene County. So let's get you right into the heart of this now. So Xenia, um, north of town now along US 68 up towards Yellow Springs. Some hail is beginning to fall. Some signs that we're seeing some hail developing. Uh, this kind of the, this we've been seeing this one's kind of cycle just a little bit over the last little while. That's tracking off towards the east and northeast. And then down here into Kettering, Centerville, Large Hill, and maybe now back another area of hail developing on the western sides of Miamisburg. 
another area of shower and thunderstorm activity starting to increase just a little bit there. Let's get you an updated track and we'll let you know when this gets into your neck of the woods here. So again, we'll track this as a line because that is really what it is becoming now. And see, it's moving off to the east and again, a slightly northward component of motion here. Uh, we'll move this at about 50 miles per hour. So these are estimated times, okay? So some of these times could change. So Grove City 428, so maybe now within the next half hour it's gonna come into your neck of the woods especially if it moves uh, at this current at the current pace and it doesn't change any um, that's kind of where we have here um, we do have a viewer report of golf ball size hail and trotwood uh, that would kind of be surprising to some extent but then again it may not be um, apologies for the radar changing colors there on you there we go uh, so we have upper arlington 426 columbus 430 whitehall 436 newark after five o'clock uh, more immediate concern right now uh, into Xenia here basically within the next five minutes is coming on your doorstep. Spring Valley, same for you. Jamestown, 414. London within the next 10 minutes for you. South Solon within the next 10 to 12 minutes for you. Uh, West Jefferson at about 415, 425 could be on your doorstep. So the storms again right now wanting to pick up in speed just a little bit. They have kind of varied at times. Uh, let's take you over to Velocity. We've not checked at this not check this out in some time uh, remember we have reds and greens reds going one way greens going the other the good news right now is that we're not seeing um, an enhanced area of strong winds in fact I'm not even seeing any winds right now worthy of seeing a severe thunderstorm warning issued so we'll have to watch this very closely um, Zach now just now point out to me as well right around 45 lightning strikes within the last five minutes the number has been declining so that could be a sign that we could start to see some um, decreasing severe weather threats. We'll have to watch that closely. Uh, severe thunderstorm right now from Montgomery County has been allowed to expire along with Warren County, I do believe. I would assume that that one would be gone as well. Uh, severe thunderstorm continues for Clark and Green until 415. We may not see this reissued and if that's the case we'll go ahead and uh, we'll end coverage if that's the case. Um, it looks like they're actually not going to issue a warning for the southern part of Green County as it appears that the cell here near Beaver Creek is actually going to come into the polygon. This is the one that had the history of producing large hail across portions of uh, Preble County back into East Central Indiana. So that's where things stand at the moment. So if we start to see a decrease in lightning, as Zach is pointing out to me, uh, that would mean an indication that perhaps things are going to be weakening. So we'll watch things very closely here. Um, I like to see the fans interacting with one another. That is fantastic. Um, again, if it gets a little noisy here in the video, it is raining very hard with some lightning and thunder at my location. Um, I might go check my rain gauge here in just a couple minutes when the rain lets up just to kind of see where things stand. Um, let's look at the latest scans here. Yeah, we are definitely seeing a decreasing trend. So a while ago, we had these really concentrated areas of purple uh, dime size hail coming through Montgomery County and that is through amateur radio um, that was still about eight minutes ago the purples are much more spread out in nature they're not um, they're not these really tight concentrated cores that we had within the last half hour 45 minutes last couple of scans we've really seen things decrease in intensity in terms of the hail threat and I think Zach would venture to agree with that as well Um, now, about a half hour ago, much different story, much stronger storms with more lightning, and uh, that has since changed. Uh, Zenia, it looks like the worst of this is coming through you now, at least one cell coming through. Secondary one about to come back right on the back side of that and impact your neck of the woods. Um, okay, just for clarification, the warning for southeastern Montgomery and north central Warren has actually just now been allowed to expire. I was actually about to say it was still in effect, but they just canceled it. It was set to expire at 430. That cell has clearly moved out of the area, um, and that's kind of where things stand. So let's get you a, a quick regional reset uh, because we've not talked about the weather for the rest of the morning yet, and I do want to kind of touch base on that, so I'll take off the roads, um, and hopefully I'll get a new regional scan here for you, I'm hoping. I may not be able to get that. 
Okay, let's switch over to national radar maybe. Okay, maybe it's uh, maybe this is not meant to be this morning. So let's we'll, we'll kind of we may have to come back to that one for the time being. And I may even have to switch sources here. Um, Forty nine mile per hour wind gust reported at Wright Pat Air Force Base. Not surprised. Okay, I may have briefly lost some of my radar capabilities. So let's switch sources. Bear with me here while I do that. We'll get you an update. Give me just one second. We'll switch sources here temporarily, and then I would do want to bring back what we were using. So this we do have a couple of different sources we use here, and that's kind of where things stand. So uh, the red box you see that's your severe thunderstorm warning. I know we typically like to use that use that for uh, tornado warnings. So let me adjust that real quick. This is not a, a program that I use very often, so bear with me. There we go. We'll change that to a yellow. Not this way we're not uh, confusing anybody. Okay, and I do have the regional radar back now. So let's take a look at this. So here's kind of a regional synopsis for you. We are seeing uh, an immense amount of rain along the I-70 corridor here early this morning that is now extending east into portions of eastern Ohio, so Canton, New Philadelphia, and uh, portions of Cambridge and Zanesville seeing some heavy rain there as well. More heavy rain back to the southwest. West of Cincinnati, we're seeing... Uh, some thunderstorm warnings and even a tornado warning or two not surprising again this is all associated because we have a very strong low level jet overhead um, Zach if you want to kind of allude on that in the comment section you can um, Heather's asking how does uh, your cat feel out storms um, well right now he's actually off doing something else uh, the thunder has kind of ended here um, but he was definitely a little interested a little while ago. Um, and Zach, again, is going to talk about that low-level jet overhead. Sometimes pets have an interesting, uh, interesting feelings when it comes to storms. Um, so kind of, give you, uh, kind of finishing up our regional synopsis, and then we'll get back into uh, the local side of things. We're seeing some new development now around Indianapolis, um, up towards Fort Wayne. Let me turn that off. I don't know what is going on here right now. There we go. There's the latest frame. So some new activity from Fort Wayne down to Indianapolis. This is not severe, but we could see that increase in intensity over the next little bit. Strong low-level jet overhead helping to keep these storms intense and producing an immense amount of rainfall. So let's get you back now to our severe thunderstorm warning. And hopefully... Things are not wanting to act right this morning. There was a look at the heavy rain. We'll go back and look at the uh, rainfall totals here when we wrap things up. Okay, so we still have a severe thunderstorm warning for Clark and Greene County. This will go until 415, so another six minutes on this one. Uh, we could see that, we, we might see that change a little bit. Uh, would not be surprised to see this uh, canceled and not reissued based on what we're seeing here. Looking at some updates from some of our other nearby offices as well. Uh, wind gust of 52 miles per hour in Springfield. Uh, so we're not seeing severe wind speeds, but we are seeing gusty winds. That's one thing to keep in mind. So if you have any loose outdoor items, I know it's been raining all night, but uh, you might want to go get those and get those moved indoors uh, because we could see some strong winds coming into the Columbus area just in time for the morning commute um, right around you know, the 4.30, uh, 5.30 time frame. So that's kind of where things stand. Uh, severe thunderstorm again for Clark and Green till 4.15. Six more minutes, and as long as it expires and nothing else is reissued, we'll let you go. And we'll come back live and talk to you if any further warnings are issued. Flash flood warning, Clark and Green County. This goes until 7.15. Flash flood warning for Pre Preble Montgomery till 6.15. And then into Indiana, a couple of our counties here, Union and Fayette, until 5.30 of flash flood warning. So, and if you kind of draw the, if you kind of look at the trend, there are flash flood warnings kind of lining up, and next in line would be the Columbus metro area to see a flash flood warning. Not totally uncommon. We had a couple last year. Um, that's kind of where we'll watch to see uh, where the next set of warnings comes out. I would suspect that we're going to at least 
see a special weather statement from the National Weather Service for um, maybe like Madison and Franklin counties. Um, I would think that's going to be coming here very soon. Um, let's see here real quick. I do want to check one thing here. Wanted to read one of the advisories here real quick. Um, okay. Uh, so just that, just so that everybody kind of uh, understands, uh, those who are in the Columbus Metro, uh, we've already seen up to an inch and a half of rain and another inch to inch and a half is expected. So definitely going to see some flooding concerns with that. Um, and with that, real quick, while we have a quick little lull, uh, I'm going to go check my rain gauge and see how much rain has fallen. Uh, if you have a weather station, let us know how much rain you're seeing or what the temperature is at your location. would be very curious to see that. And when we get back, when I get back here in about 30 or 60 seconds, hopefully we'll see the severe thunderstorm warning expire and we can let you go on about your mornings. Uh, give me just one second. So uh, lo and behold, we are sitting at about uh, two inches of rain right now. And I actually, I see that uh, I see that the uh, radar may not be correct on your screen um, for whatever reason that may be. So let's try something else here. Okay, so yeah, I see that the radar has not been uh, updating on your end, and I apologize. So we'll switch sources again. I'm not sure what has happened um, so let's get you zoomed back in here so this is going to be looked now uh, from one of our other sources um, but we do not have a special weather statement for Fayette Clark Green and Madison counties until 445 I think that's the appropriate move We are not seeing a severe, th yeah. So severe thunderstorm now for Clark and Green's been allowed to expire. So we no longer have a severe thunderstorm warning in place. Um, I'm still watching a couple of areas in particular. Crossing into Madison County here momentarily. Okay, so real quick, let's get you an update and then we'll kind of wrap things up. So really intense wind and, and rain. Again, it's sub-severe. That is probably 40 to 50 mile per hour winds coming through portions of South Charleston. Cedarville and Xenia. Maybe seeing some penny size hail, some lightning, although that's been on the decrease over the last several minutes, and uh, we may see that trend kind of continue. So there's an updated loop of the radar of the last couple of loops, kind of moving east and a little bit north of east at this time. And I think that trend will continue. Heavy rain and flooding going to be a big concern this morning in the Dayton and Columbus metropolitan areas in specific, and anybody really along I-70 from places like maybe Zanesville to Columbus to Dayton to Richmond down towards Connorsville going to be a big big issue this morning uh, with some flash flooding concerns so uh, flash flooding report now out of Preble County 911 call center reporting water running over Wolf Road remember folks if you come across floodwaters please 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 turn around don't drown and uh, that's kind of where we're at with that. So uh, with that right now, since we don't have any active severe thunderstorm warnings in place, we're going to wrap up this video for now. If further warnings are issued, we'll come back live and talk to you. Columbus Metro between now and 6 a.m. Be prepared for some really heavy rain, uh, some cloud to ground lightning strikes. They're, they're not going to be widespread. You're going to see some quick wind gusts between 30 and maybe as high as 50 miles per hour, and you're going to see continued rainfall and even some small hail. So watch out for that flooding. If you're out driving early on this morning, turn around, don't drown. Uh, try to stay in your main arteries if possible. I know some of our freeways have issues with flooding here at times in the Columbus Metro. We'll keep a close eye on that, and we'll come back live and talk to you if need be. Another report out of Preble County now, flood water running across Wayne Trace Road in Eaton. So we're seeing a lot of flooding reports coming in. That should be a warning to you this morning as you're getting ready to go to work that it's going to be uh, you're going to see some flooding. You're going to see some ponding of water on roadways. 
you're going to see areas uh, you may not be able to get through. You may see some roads closed. Turn around, don't drown. So that's kind of where things stand there um, at the moment. So we'll watch things very closely here for you. I'm forecasting Rick Dunn reporting. Thank you to Zach in the comment section, and we'll keep you advised. Again, if any further warnings are issued, we'll come back live and talk to you. Stay safe out there. Turn around, don't drown. And thanks for watching us here earlier this morning on our family of pages. Have a good day, everyone.